So the noise that you're hearing there is called an alarm call and they do it when predators or something dangerous comes nearby. They warn the entire herd, as you can tell, it's quite noisy. So the herd will sit and stare at it with their nose pointed right at whatever is making them nervous, dogs, wolves, moose, something that could be a potential threat to the babies and the other llamas. And they make that noise to alert the herd that there's, a, that there's danger. And then when the threat has left, they quit making the noise. So I'm just here to feed the babies. I'm gonna grab the goat's milk out of the fridge, get it heated up, take it out there, hopefully before it rains. It is a little bit too strong to just feed straight fresh goat's milk, so we're gonna add about 25% water. So you're gonna take the baby llama's weight, turn it into ounces. So Maribo, she weighs 32 pounds. We're gonna turn that into ounces, 32 ounces, and then we feed that divided by the number of feedings per day. So we're trying to feed her three to four times. If we feed her four times, obviously you get the picture. We do eight ounces at a time, feed her three times. If they're younger, you need to split it up into about six feedings per day. Stand. Good girl. Let's go eat in the barn. Yeah, we're close to the barn. Let's go eat in there. Your mama's telling you not to eat this drink, huh? She says, don't eat that drink. From that crazy lady. Thank you, Maribel. Time for your milk. Hi. Oh, you hungry? Here you go. Open big. Open big. Oh, open big. Okay. Let's get your milk down into your belly. Sundays are a great time for family. Llama time. Bo is actually out on a clinic today, so he's with a, with a small group of people teaching them how to be with the pack llamas so that they can rent them on their own and do so comfortably. All right, we just got to the trailhead, unknown location, and here's the crew. We're getting loaded up. We got a dog, four human beings, and uh, six llamas. So it's a uh, Memorial Day weekend. We're just gonna go enjoy some of the wild country. I have three young llamas with me. Um, Marcus, the loophole llamas here. And then we have Drafty, named after Draft Horses. Draft Horse because they got big muscles. And then uh, Iceman. Iceman is kind of a new addition. All youngsters and uh, gonna go train the llamas, have a great trip, do an overnighter, and uh, hopefully find some cool stuff. Tome. This is Artemis. And uh, we're going on a little hike today. Nice. What are you Hi, doing? I'm Maddie. That's Helen. She's a little grumpy right now, but it's looking better. <laughs> you guys ready to go, huh? Whoa, look at these stud muffins. Three boy llamas. That right there is Iceman. This is Drafty. And that back there, you guys guessed it, that is Marcus, the loophole llama. All right, llama time. We're going uh, just out of Idaho Falls, not too far, about 45 minute drive. We're gonna go on an overnight trip, and it is decent terrain. This is Iceman right here. So Iceman's really never ever had a saddle on, never been brushed. We just picked him up not too long ago. So we're going to take a little bit of time to teach him the ropes, get him saddled up. You gotta look pretty for you, dude. And the wool, we grab the wool and we just put it in the trailer. It's part of a lethal trip. You guys ready? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> We're taking a pee break while we're going to the bathroom. It's a beautiful day to be up in the backcountry. 
And uh, here's Marcus, the loophole llama. He's doing pretty good. There's Maddie leading her troops up there. We're about half a mile to three quarters of a mile from camp. Not too far. Nice man, he's not doing so good today. Harrison's leading the string of boys. We got Drafty, Iceman, and Marcus. Iceman's dragging pretty good. Hey. And oh, oh, she. <laughs> yeah, you did that to you. That'll work. How's that, Pierce? That'll work. Tree in the face. Drafty's first time uh, doing some cross country downhill. Good boys. Marcus knows how to do the downhill. All right. There's your campsite, guys, right there. Putting my saddle in the tree so it stays dry. Cool. Find a good branch. Oh, nice. I think that's perfect. The hanging tree. The hanging tree. <laughs> Right now we're just staking out the llamas so they can have lots of grass to eat. This is Drafty, this is Drafty guys. That's his, this is his first camp out. And it's also Iceman's first camp out. All right, we just got camp set up. We've got our uh, camp area over there. Llamas are set up. Our tents are almost set up. All our gear's laid out and we just found a mountain goat. Yeah. <laughs> Right in the middle. Dang, that's cool. You can see them there up on the cliffs. Mountain goat. <laughs> All right, what do you think of the cot? It's sweet. <laughs> oh, pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Backcountry cot. <laughs> we went on a little jaunt. We found eight mountain goats, one rock chuck. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna get the llamas and saddle and get ready to cook dinner here. All right, we got our kitchen set up with our tarp over there. This ice man needs some time out because he's kind of a bad boy today. We got our uh, saddles tied up in the tree, the old Kelty tent, and uh, the three girls. People always told me you can't pack males and females together. And I think that you can, but not necessarily on the same string. So we got three intact males with three females. We just keep them out 20 yards apart and uh, it's worked out really good. So I guess we proved that wrong. And here's our kitchen with a nice tarp. I'm gonna cook some spaghetti for these guys. So I shot a mule deer last year in Wyoming and uh, I canned it. So the llamas packed up canned mule deer meat and the rest of our ingredients. So we're gonna get dinner going here. And uh, I brought a special spice a friend of mine gave me from Mexico. I'll talk about that here in a minute. So I'm going to get all geared up here and we're going to make dinner. Well, we need uh, to heat up the noodles. We got the old whisper light started. Just doing a little bit of overflow here. Dinner is ready to eat. We got spaghetti, noodles, we have the sauce, we have Parmesan cheese, and we got people ready to eat. Say when. One more. That looks great. Some cheese? Yes, please. Say when. When. Ooh, look at how good that looks. Okay. Thank you. How is it, guys? So good. 10 out of 10, Mads. 
11. <laughs> Topping with cheese. All right, let's eat. Let's eat. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us. We hope you stop by again. Subscribe to our channel so you can see when we've got up new content. We'd love to see you back. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you enjoyed and what you'd like to see more of.